Today we're going to use TraceView to find one of the most common problems in web apps, slow queries in your database. The application we're looking at now is a Python app with a MySQL backend. The SQL calls are actually made from a backend service, which talks to the front end using Thrift. Let's dive right in though, and filter all the way down to the MySQL layer of our application. On average, it looks like this application is pretty fast. The average query time is less than 15 milliseconds. However, the average can be misleading. Many fast queries can hide the real effect of a couple of slow ones. To discover those, let's look at the SQL heat map. This shows us the distribution of all SQL queries. By default, we've hidden the outliers as they skew the time scale. In this case, the majority of the queries here are fast, less than 50 milliseconds, so let's expand the view. Let's open our mini heat map here and pull that range out so we can see all of the queries that have happened in our system over the last 24 hours. Now we're seeing something interesting. There are a few slow calls here that take upwards of 10 seconds. In order to see where they're coming from, we can select everything on the heat map above that bottom row, limiting us to looking at just the slowest queries in our app. Not only can we look at which queries are slow, information we could have gotten from the MySQL slow query log, but we can also see which endpoints generated those queries. In this case, it was actually all the same endpoint, which we can see by looking at the top controllers table here. It was the same code path through the application. Let's drill into a single instance of this query to see what's going on. Now in the context of this request, this is a real problem. Virtually the entire page load time is due to this slow query. We can even see exactly what that query was with all of its bound parameters by drilling down on the green libmysql layer. We can also see where in the code it came from by looking at the stack trace in the SQL Alchemy layer. At this point, we have all the information we need. We could take this query and use explain on it within the MySQL command line, or go straight to the code to eliminate any extra work we might be doing. In this case, though, it turns out there's information in what we don't see. The results of this query are typically cached in Cassandra, and there's no call to Cassandra here. Re-enabling that caching layer cut the average time by 80% and eliminated all queries of this type over 5 seconds. If you'd like to see what slow queries are hiding in your system, install TraceView and find out today. 